Mercedes has given its new, curiously styled CLS the AMG treatment. But before you start salivating about the E63's infamous drift mode and swoopier, more svelte four-door, calm yourself. And prepare for a mild lecture. The introduction of another AMG product is also the dawn of a new AMG number. The current range includes 43s, 45s and 63s. And now the 53. This is the CLS 53 AMG, and it has a new engine and some interesting tech. The base engine is, as you'd expect, a twin turbo pedal. It's a 3.0 liter straight 6, however, something you'd normally expect in a BMW. It produces 429 bhp and 384 pounds foot, which when pushed through its four-wheel drive system, yields a 4.5 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour time. Quick, but a time not in the sub fours marks this out as a tamer AMG product. We suspect a full strength CLS 63 will come in time. Only, those figures aren't its absolute peaks, because the pedal engine is supplemented by some clever electric stuff. It doesn't comprise motors on the wheels, like proper hybrid performance cars, rather an EcBoost starter alternator motor between the engine and transmission. It delivers 21 bhp and a more substantial 184 pounds foot, essentially filling in the gap normally left by turbo lag to improve performance, while also cutting fuel consumption. Mercedes quotes 33.6 miles per gallon and 200 grams slash km of CO2 emissions. Impressive on a near 2-ton AMG badge saloon. The gearbox is a 9-speed auto, while the 4-wheel drive system is naturally rear drive, with the front axle assisting whenever the clever computers deem it helpful or necessary. But while the system can frequently be rear drive only, there's no cheat code drift mode here. We suspect the CLS 53 will still allow some lariness with sufficiently exuberant driving, mind. Other nice bits include AMG ride control plus air suspension, which can lift the car up over speed bumps then drop it back down when you want to go quickly, and a wealth of semi-self-driving tech and wellness functions to keep you happy and stress-free inside. The CLS 53 AMG comes with 19 in wheels as standard, with 20s optional, while there's a subtle body kit to ensure you'll be able to tow it apart from lesser diesel versions. The nerdiest detail is its front hair curtains, subtly worked into the front bumper and designed to reduce lift on the front wheels. Don't want a four-door? The 53 powertrain simultaneously goes into the E-Class Coupe and Convertible. Merck boasts that the 53 AMG treatment is a bit posher and comes with more color and trim choices than the 43 AMG, which you get on E-Class saloons and estates. The Coupe and Convertible weigh almost the same as the CLS so offer not on identical performance and economy numbers. All three body styles have been revealed at the Detroit Motor Show, with prices to follow. Like what you see? Or are you patiently hoping for a properly killing CLS 63?